so it had been a little quiet on the Pred front for the last few months as Amada worked on the game. However, today they have announced a partnership with a company called Acelbyte, who deals specifically with providing devs like Amada with backends and tools for developing the online aspects of their games. For many, including myself, you may not have heard of them, but the companies that they have worked with are pretty big names, ranging from 2K, Gearbox, Warner Brothers, and Bandai Namco, just to name a few. Usually, server-side news wouldn't be such a big deal, and you might wonder, why does this affect me? Well, looking back into July's stress test, the one thing that failed during that test, as I covered in my previous video about it, was the back end of the servers. And as it says in the post from today, they had over 20,000 people trying to play. And it was the back end of the server that was just not playing nice with the rush of people trying to play. And do bear in mind, this was 20,000 people trying to play within an hour or so of the test going live, which is a pretty huge amount for a game that hasn't really advertised itself in terms of trailers or paid ads. So with this partnership, we should see that the next time we can play, that there should be no real back-end server issues, or if there are, they should be much more easily resolved as a Cellbyte seem to be a tried and tested company and they seem to work with some pretty big names. So while this announcement might not be the most exciting one we get about the game, it's a pretty big deal. Another thing that I noticed in the announcement is the very specific wording of we can't wait to welcome you back to try out predecessor soon, followed by stay tuned for more announcements in the coming weeks. The main reasons this seems like a slight tease to me is because not only does it say try out predecessor soon, it also says more announcements, plural, and in the coming weeks. Don't get me wrong, weeks could be any week. It could be a week in December 2022. But weeks does make it sound fairly soonish, but I don't want to get my hopes up too much and I don't want to start a rumour either. But I'm sure that you'll agree the wording does seem pretty hopeful for some sort of news. Let me know what you think it means by the way. I'm curious if it's just me trying to Da Vinci Code predecessor announcements by joining random words together for meaning. The final thing I want to talk about is that we do know Grux is coming because of a teaser video we got shown that is a Mater official. However, remember that I talked about an Instagram post having Faye on it? Well this announcement from today had a certain angry hero on it. It had Richter, casually just in the back of it. Does that mean that he might also be teased or confirmed? Maybe? Maybe not? They could have chosen him at random, but as I said with the Faye image, there's quite a few heroes in the game currently, so it is a little sus to just not pick one of those. Again, feel free to let me know what you think of that also. But it seems like the biggest issue from the stress test could be fixed, or is being fixed with this partnership. The announcement also seems to hint at more news to come fairly soonish, perhaps. And finally we have Grux confirmed and potentially Bay and Richter on the way, but we'll have to wait and see for those confirmed in the future. If you want to follow me on Twitch or join my Discord, as usual, all my links will be in the pinned comment and description. But that's it for this video, I will see you for the next video.